Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. All right guys, so welcome to another video and in today's video, we're going to have a look at Gcam 6.2 on Pocophone F1. Now, if you're on stable beta, doesn't really matter as long as you're on MIUI, even if you have a locked bootloader, this is just an APK that you have to install. Remember, this phone has camera to API enabled by default. So Gcam and most of the features should work just fine. We'll quickly have a look at them and let me know in the comment section how did you like this video but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's begin Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we're going to have a look at the Pocophone and Gcam 6.2. First I'll quickly show you how to install the APKs and then we'll get it working and we'll also have a quick look at the features. So first of all, let's actually go to file manager and for your information, I'm running an unlocked bootloader on a nightly update that is MIUI 9.5.6. But let me tell you, this will definitely work on 10.3.4 stable as well. All you need to ensure is whatever ROM that you're running, your camera to API is enabled and you can download this app camera to API and you have level three support on this particular ROM. So that's good enough. For now, all the files are linked in the description. You can download them. I've copied them to a folder and kept it in the internal memory. So let's quickly have a look. We have Gcam 6.2. So we'll need AR core APK that is for AR and then childish game. You know, this is just a virtual reality thing. The, we have Google Lens and then VR apps, Gcam 6.2 and Playground 2. So first let's install Gcam. Once you're done installing Gcam, we will install Google Lens. Now you can install these apps in any sequence that completely that is completely fine. I'm just uh, installing them the way I like. So Google Lens is done, then let's install AR Core. So we are installing Playground now. Okay, and then we will install Playground Pokemon Detective. This is just an AR thing so that you know, I can show it to you guys that it works just fine. I don't usually use this, so then let's install Childish Gambino. Okay, so looks like all the apps are installed. Right, so Google AR Core is already installed. Now let's quickly go to camera, that is Gcam allow all the permissions and you will see that it is already detecting that the phone is in a dark area that's because we are using the rear camera now we'll have a look at all the features one by one so let's actually keep a subject over here which should allow us to click a picture using the first feature that is lens blur so let's click a picture using lens blur first all right so this is the first sample of lens blur as you can see, the background has been blurred and the reason we need to use lens blur despite having Gcam is because uh, Google's AI is such that in Gcam it will only use the portrait mode or only allow you to click a portrait if there is a human face that is detected by the AI. So that is the reason you need to use lens blur. Now next thing, panorama over here doesn't work as mentioned by the developer but yes, let's talk about portrait. So let's actually click portrait from the first front camera and let's see how it comes. All right, so talking about the portrait feature, if you have a look, it catches the edges really, really sharp and really, really perfect. So portrait mode works perfectly fine on the front and the rear camera. Now let's move on to the next feature over here. That is the main camera. The main camera, well, you can see the front camera is working. The rear camera works just fine. If we go to video, well, what settings do we have over here? We have 30 frames per second or 50, 60 frames per second. That is 1080p. And if we go to more, you have night sight. Uh, now night sight, let's actually try a dark area by dimming all the lights. So that is a picture of my cabinet clicked in night sight. And even you can see, even in night sight, uh, it is not that bad. So that is another feature that, that works just fine. Now, apart from this, if you exit out of night sight and go to more, you will have slow motion, which works one is to eight X that works just fine. Now, apart from that in more, you have playground. That is basically something that we installed. So let's allow all the permissions. Playground lets you create play with the world around you. Tap the burger. Okay, great. 
There you go. We have a Pikachu, as you can see. Okay, we can throw in something else as well, like so that works just fine. Now, apart from this, there's nothing much. We have slow motion, we have photosphere. I've not tested photosphere, but all in all, what I'm trying to say here, the whole idea of this video was if you have a Poco phone and even if you're on a locked bootloader, this G cam is worth it. Let me know in the comment section, how did you like this video? And if you have, please like, share and subscribe. I'm planning to do a comprehensive test of MIUI camera versus G cam. Give this video a like if you want that video to come. For now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.